All right, so I'm here in Google Maps, and Google Maps is using a map called the Mercator projection. Now there are other maps for the ball Earth, but this is the one they're using. This is also the map that they are teaching children in school is the correct one. So when you look at this, you assume that, like I know that Norway is supposed to be 324,000 kil uh, square kilometers. So I assume that this is this is the size of 324,000 kilometers. I also assume that Greenland is huge, just like they show me. However, this map is not accurate. And if we compare Greenland with the US on the map, it looks like the US is about half the size of Greenland. Okay, so let's check the actual size. So the area of Greenland is two point one six six million square kilometers. But the US is 9.834 million square kilometers, and that's almost five times as much. So if these numbers are correct then actually on the map it should be the US should be 4.5 times larger than Greenland but it isn't and Mexico is down here it's a beautiful country but it looks very small compared to the US like maybe one-fifth Okay, so let's check that. So that's 1.964 million square kilometers, which is supposed to be almost the same size as Mexico. So actually Greenland and Mexico should be the same size for for this map to be an accurate representation of the available data 
So what else is inaccurate? It seems like all of the things in the north are way too big. So let's check Congo. It's near the equator and it's bigger than Greenland. 10% bigger than Greenland. <laughs> Look at that little country. The Congo. Look at Greenland on the map. And Congo doesn't even look bigger than Norway. Or maybe a little bit. Congo looks like a tenth of the size of Greenland. So let's say South Africa then. Let's check South Africa. Let's check Australia first. How big is this Australia? That is very big. Let's check South Africa. One point two. So it's half the size of Congo in reality. But on the map, it looks Okay, maybe a little bit smaller, but not half the size. So, it seems like the closer you get to the e equator, the smaller the countries become. And then once you go beyond the equator to the south again, then the countries are drawn as bigger than what they actually are. Australia was four times the size of Greenland but on the map it looks like a third of the size. So let's check Argentina. It's more south than South Africa and Australia. And it's 2.78 million square kilometers. Which is bigger. And it, that does not look bigger than Greenland. So yeah, it seems like the, the further you get away from the equator, the the bigger the representation on the map. So the question is, why don't they use just a real map. Why don't they use a map like the Peters projection? The Gall Peters projection. This is more accurate. We see in terms of size. Of course, not in terms of reality, but in terms of size. Then Greenland is really tiny. 
Alaska is a lot smaller. And Africa is huge and long. And the equator is at the same spot, more or less. So we're going through just beneath there. Yeah. But then there's an equal distance from the equator to the south of Argentina and Chile. As it would be up to almost Norway, Northern Europe. And we see that Europe is tiny. And Australia just looks huge. And Africa is enormous. And so is so is South America. So we have two maps of the same world. We can't really trust any of them. We don't even know. Really, we don't even know if these numbers are correct. Is this correct? I have no idea. It's just, they can just draw anything and we will have to accept it because we don't have the tools. How can we check this? We need to do this research ourselves. All right, anyway, in reality, the US is almost five times larger than Greenland. But on the map that almost everyone uses and think is correct, without any notice of some sort, Greenland is actually twice the size on the map, even though it's five times smaller. All right, think about it.